Welcome to Zarkat Reviews. Today will be my review of the ActionTech ECB6000 Mocha Network Adapter. Okay, what is a Mocha Network Adapter? Uh, Mocha is a, st a communication standard used by most cable companies. It stands for uh, Multimedia Over Coax Alliance. It allows you uh, to get Ethernet onto a coaxial cable. Um, that's very handy uh, in houses where you have cable runs in a room, but you don't have an Ethernet connection in a particular room, and you need one uh, for access to the Internet or just access to your home network in general. Um, so let's take a look at the device. Um, this is, again, the ActionTech ECB6000. Um, the device is black plastic. It's very rigid. Uh, it has uh, some minor texturing to it, uh, so it's not slip slippery in any way. Um, you've got connections on the sides, on the bottom, you've got uh, four rubber feet uh, to prevent sliding on your furniture. Um, so looking at the top, you have a power indicator, you have a coax cable indicator, you have the coax cable connector here, uh, as well as a reset button. On the other side of the device, you have your Ethernet connection, and you have your power connection. Okay, and there's really nothing else on this device. So configuration is super simple. So let's go back to, you know, what is a Mocha network adapter? Um, you know, I mentioned that um, this was Mocha 2.0, uh, which replaces the previous Action Tech device that was Mocha 1.1. Um, the version uh, 2.0 allows a theoretical maximum of 670 megabits per second. Uh, through this device. Um, you're not going to receive <laughs> that kind of speed through this device. That is their technical standard, uh, the maximum throughput you could possibly get. Uh, it's just not real world. Um, we'll talk a little bit uh, about what real world um, results you can expect and what I got on my network. Um, I will point out that uh, this only works with cable. If you are a satellite subscriber and that's what you have in your house, this will not work. Uh, you will have to look for another solution. Uh, I know DirecTV has similar technology, but uh, this will not work for a satellite home. Uh, also, if you are using a Verizon Fios, if you are a Verizon Fios customer, um, you get a little bit of an advantage in that you only need one of these devices um, to create uh, an extra network drop or connection. Um, if you're not using Fios, uh, you will need two of these devices, one device uh, to put between your wall where the cable comes in and the router that your cable company provided that gives you the Mocha capability. And then you would use a second device uh, in an extra room where you had a cable from your cable company already, but not an Ethernet cable. Um, so it would take two devices in that regard, and I'll, I'll show you a little bit of a, how you would connect that and, and how Verizon Fios is different in a moment as well. Um, but let's talk about why would you want to use this um, over something like Wi-Fi or power line adapters. Uh, quite simply, speed. Um, speed over the Mocha devices is generally much faster than you're going to get over Wi-Fi. Uh, Wi-Fi also comes with dead spots or weak areas. Um, it's also limited by, you know, the number of connections, the number of people that are using it. Uh, so your speed would drop uh, over Wi-Fi. may not be a problem for you in your particular environment, um, but the, the Mocha adapter, you know, overcomes those limitations. Um, you get dedicated speed um, through this connection. Uh, also, it, it's simple. It's, it's dead simple to configure. Uh, cable coax goes on this side, Ethernet on this side, plug in the power. That's it. You've configured it. Uh, nothing more is required. Um, why would you use this? What types of devices can you use? Um, you can use this to connect to TiVo. You can use it to connect to a smart TV. Uh, you can use it to put it into a room that you just want to have network connection for a computer or any other device. Uh, once you have this device and you have an Ethernet connection, the cable can go into a switch or a hub to provide you multiple connections and all your devices can run from that single device. You only need the one Action Tech device to provide uh, connection for multiple devices in that fashion. Um, so a little bit about uh, performance uh, from this device. I uh, did mention that uh, Action Tech lists 670 megabits per second as the maximum throughput. Um, that would be fantastic, but that's just not what you're going to see. In, in my home, on my network, using my um, Fizen, 
Verizon, Verizon Fios um, cabling, uh, I was able to get anywhere between 330 megabits per second to 360 megabits per second. Uh, it's very good throughput, uh, much better than Wi-Fi, uh, much better than any power line adapter I've ever used. Um, I did test with different file sizes, uh, you know, from 150 megabits to 2 gigabytes. Um, the maximum I was able to get was about 360, 362 megabits per second. But generally, I averaged about 340, 350 megabits per second. Uh, it's pretty consistent, it's very reliable. Um, so just a fantastic device. Um, that's really it in a nutshell. You just need the device. Um, everything else is simple, plug and play. Let me show you that diagram on how you connect it. Um, they give you this in the quick start guide, and I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can get a better idea of what you need to do to make this work. Sorry for the uh, shaky camera. I hope you can see that. Uh, but the general idea is that you take your Mocha adapter and you run an Ethernet cable to your cable modem. And then you take the other side and you run a coax cable from the wall to the Action Tech device, and that creates a Mocha enabled network at that point. And then you use a second device from Action Tech to put on any other room that has a coax cable coming in from the wall. Um, here's how you can split it if you have to, only one cable coming in. Uh, to your to your router. Um, again, I'll point out that if you're a Verizon FiOS customer, you don't need to do this step. You can completely ignore all of this. The modem router that you get from FiOS already has Mocha built in. You don't need to do anything else to it. You're good to go. Okay, so that's a little bit about how that works. Um, that's really all that there is. Um, like I said, the speed is good, 350 megabits per second on average. Um, it's been pretty reliable. I haven't had any drops or any you know, serious loss of connectivity. Um, been pretty, pretty happy with uh, this. Um, it's great for um, watching Netflix or whatever else you might want to do you know, on, your, on your network. Uh, so anyway, uh, that was my review of the Action Tech ECB6000 uh, featuring Mocha 2.0. Uh, if you liked this video, uh, please click the like button. Uh, please click the uh, subscribe to the channel as well. And uh, check back uh, frequently for new reviews. Thanks for watching.